Okay, so I've finished all of the Codility lessons and now I don't want to go any further with Codility because I shouldn't really give solutions away for some of the later exercises. But I've decided to have a look at Code Wars. Um, I've signed up for Code Wars and uh, this is what I can see. I'm not familiar with Code Wars at all, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but it looks interesting. Um, we seem to have some sort of a eight Caillou ranking and um, there's allies and things like this. So it, it seems like it's some sort of a battle um, type thing going on. I suppose I'll find out what's going on, but um, for now I'll just take a look and it says your next challenge, Jaden casing strings. So I think I'll just have a go and uh, and I'll see what Code Wars is all about, I suppose. So Jaden Casing Strings. Jaden Smith, the son of Will Smith, is the star of films such as Karate Kid and After Earth. Jaden is also known for some of his philosophy that he delivers via Twitter. When writing on Twitter, he is known but almost always capitalizing every word. For simplicity, you'll have to capital, capitalize each word. Check out how contractions are expected to be in the example below. Your task is to convert strings to how they would be written by Jaden Smith. The strings are actual quotes from Jaden Smith, but they are not capitalized in the same way he originally typed them. Right, so Jade encased, so not Jade encased, is how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? And Jade encased is the same string, but with a capital letter for each word. Okay, so I think that this is going to be pretty easy, but I suppose um, this is a seven Caillou challenge, is it? And I'm currently eight Caillou, uh, which is just signed up so okay note that the java version expects a return value of null for an empty string or null right okay so how do i do that do i click train right okay to jade in case so as i used to do in codility i'm going to cut and paste this into eclipse uh, do it there and then paste it back into here okay so i'll just prepare the class um, Okay, so I've just prepared the class there. So I've got to Jade in case. Um, I've got my main method um, and I've tested out, or I intend to test out some sort of a valid sentence. I might put a full stop on the end there. Uh, an empty string, just a space for corner case and null for corner case. Now let's see if they have any Kind of recommended um, uh, that ah, so we have some test cases here. Okay, so so first I'm going to deal with the um, the null thing. So if phrase equals null, return null. So we've got this far, so we know it's not null. So if phrase is empty return null so we've dealt with the those two cases if it's null or empty and then we know we've got some sort of string so we've dealt with the empty string we've dealt with the null string so now to deal with the other things so what I need to do is I think um, the easiest thing to do is to loop through each letter of the phrase 
if we see a space um, make a note that we've just seen a space or, or maybe look back and then we need to capitalize the next letter so So I'm going to say if i equals zero because the first letter, so if we're at the first place in the phrase or and the or that will only happen if i is not zero or phrase substring i minus one equals dot equals as opposed to the double equals because we're comparing a string if the so if we're at the start or the previous letter is a space the previous character should i say is a space then we want to capitalize this letter capitalize the letter um, I think to capitalize the letter we take the string and say two uppercase on it phrase substring i i Okay, so what I'm saying is if we're at the start or the previous letter was a space, then we want to make the phrase what we had before this index, what we have at this index converted to uppercase and what we have after this index. Now, I just want to check to see what I'm going to make a test case. With just a letter A, and I'm going to make a test case A space A. I'll say an A uh, because I'm worried about an index out of bounds on this end here. But let's return phrase there, and I'll just run it. I think I've tested everything there, so I'll just run that. Uh, I'm doing it in the wrong project. To run that and see what it does. Okay, here is my phrase that didn't work at all. Um, okay, I'm probably confused about the um, substrings so i'm going to say what came before was that string what is here is converted to uppercase is that and string after equals that and we want the phrase to be before plus here plus after and let's debug okay so at index zero what was before it is nothing what is here is the h uh, so we need to say plus one there and debug again so what was before is nothing what is here is a capital H and what is after is the rest of here is my phrase so now we convert phrase we put that capital H in then we look at the E 
that doesn't um, the previous letter is not a space and it's not at the beginning so we ignore that then the R we ignore it and the E we ignore it then we have a space but the previous letter is not a space now oops please substitute I minus one to I that's fine go through that again okay so the H we capitalize it the E we ignore the R we ignore the E we ignore the space we ignore the I the previous letter was a space before we have here with a space here we have the I which we capitalize and after we have rest of is my phrase and the phrase becomes here is so we've capitalized the is I think we can carry on okay we've capitalized my carry on and we've capitalized phrase we carry on and return here is my phrase the a we've capitalized just the a and a we've capitalized that okay empty string we return null the space on its own we return a space on its own and null we return null so that's my solution uh, fairly simple but this is just the very start of code wars so let's submit that how do i do that test pass three we've passed all of the tests attempt now are they going to throw a corner case at it is there any corner cases i don't know but let's try attempt passed you passed all the tests outstanding you may take your time to refactor submit when ready um what are they expecting me to nicely comment my code i don't know but I'll submit it. Congrats on completing your first cutter. Here are some tips for what to do now. Each time you complete a cutter, you will be shown the solution of other code warriors. This is a great way to pick up new tips and tricks. You can move on to the next cutter by clicking this button in the top right corner. It will be randomly selected based on the selected language and training routine. The active training routine is found on the dashboard page if you want to change it. Train again. If the cutter is available in another language, try it again. If you have something to say about the cutter, you can head over to the discourse section to chat about it. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave that there. Um, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, am I now? Do I get a promotion or something? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but um, but anyway, that's my solution to uh, Jaden casing strings in Code Wars. Thanks for watching.